Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, BC, Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. All of a sudden, this hit me, and I got to do it. Um, three years ago today, we lost a brother in Broken Chains, JC. A man who is very special to Rhonda and I. He went down on his motorcycle on his way to Michigan to share his testimony at our Celebrate Recovery. And uh, he went down on May 7th. And three years ago today, he went home to be with Jesus. This morning as I was preparing myself, I was praying for another brother that went down this month out in California. And so I'm going to deal with something because he's still struggling in the hospital right now and I, I am not standing for it anymore. Mike, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command the spirits that are controlling your body to leave now. Leave this man. Father, I praise you for the fact that healing is coming into him. Lord, that he will be able to endure the pain long enough to be able to speak your name over himself and be healed. Complete healing from head to toe, Lord, is what we want. And we know that you've already started that process. But Lord, Satan is pressing him in and pressing him down with this pain. So pain, stop now in Jesus' name. I praise you, Lord, for what you're doing. And right now, in Jesus' name, Mike, be made whole, be made complete. I praise you, Lord, for that. Today is May 20th, 2023. Reading from Proverbs chapter 20, verse 5, it says, Counsel in a man's heart is deep water, but a man of understanding draws it out. So often, we get stuck and we know who we should go to because they've been through what we've been through. And yet we don't do something. We don't go do what we need to do. And people die because of it. Because they're unwilling to. Solomon reminds us and his son that we should be the men and women of understanding and going and grabbing what we need and bringing it out. But more than that, going and doing what we know we need to do and not leaving it be. Sometimes we think, what, who am I or what am I that I have the right for that or I have the right to speak that. Those are lies from Satan and we don't have to put up with that anymore. I say this all the time at church. I don't know that I say it nearly enough on these devotionals, but I want you to hear me. Jesus came and preached a gospel, a good news. Peter, James, John, Paul, all of the apostles preached a gospel of the good news. Paul tells us that he gave us exactly what Jesus gave him, what all the apostles were given, and that is the good news. That Jesus lived, he died, he rose again so that we could have forgiveness of sins and that we could have a kingdom life. That's what Jesus preached. He didn't. He talked about hell all the time. Yes, he did. But he didn't come preaching, avoid hell. He came preaching, live a kingdom life. That is the message that we need to understand today. Counsel in a man's heart is deep water. But a man of understanding draws it out. Get it. Draw it out. There are people that have the answers. Ask the questions. And if you don't understand, ask more questions. But know this one thing. The good news, Jesus loves you. He lived. He died. He rose again so that you could have forgiveness of sins. And so that you could have him dwell in you. So you could live the kingdom life now and forever. That's the good news, guys. Live it today. I love you all. Hope you have a great day. God bless.